Dr. Jennifer Doudna, one of the most influential scientists of our time. Doudna is most famous for having won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 2020. She discovered with Emmanuel Charpentier the CRISPR-Cas9. This discovery greatly advanced genetic editing by using the CRISPR-Cas9 as molecular scissors to remove, edit, or alter genetics. Now a co-founder of the Innovative Genomics Institute, as of 2017, Dr. Doudna continues to make progress in her research involving genome editing. Doudna was born in Washington, D.C. in 1964. Both of her parents were involved in a form of teaching. Because of this, she moved to Hawaii at the age of seven as her parents took on jobs at local colleges there. She became interested in science as her high school chemistry class did a seminar series that highlighted the chemistry of biological systems. Doudna then decided to go to Panoma College in California to study biochemistry and went on to get her Ph.D. in biological chemistry and molecular pharmacology from Harvard Medical School in 1989. Afterwards, she began a joint professorship at UC Berkeley where she was introduced to CRISPR by Dr. Jillian Banfield. Doudna now continues her research at her lab at UC Berkeley where she is currently working with CRISPR-Cas and its associated proteins, developing more genome editing tools, and finally developing anti-CRISPR agents. Doudna continues to speak about her progress and what it means for the real world today. She has mentioned her concern about the ethical implications of using CRISPR and how being a female scientist has affected her. For instance, Doudna continues to speak out against editing germlines, which would cause permanent changes. She even wrote a novel which included her hopes for the usage of CRISPR and what she believes it should and should not be used for. She also discussed how often she worries her accomplishments are not viewed the same as a male's would be. While she is not in her lab, Doudna Doudna loves to garden. She enjoys the challenge of growing Hawaiian fruit in her California garden and the feeling of joy when she succeeds in it. Recently, Doudna was a co-author in the scientific article Precise Transcript Targeting by CRISPR CSM Complexes. The article dives into the usage of the CSM protein complex instead of the Cas13. Cas13 has been known to cleave or split nearby non-complementary RNA in the trans. This means RNA that regulates gene expression in farther away genomic regions is split, which leads to possible cellular death. The CSM may not cleave those RNA as the Cas13 do, which would be a particular advantage, so the usage of those associated proteins was further investigated. The procedure began with proteins CSM 1-5 through and Cas6 being flag-tagged and added to human embryonic kidney cells nuclei. Western blot and immunofluorescence staining verified proper size and location, localization of each. They then tested a single versus separate promoter way of delivery for all of the CSM and Cas6 proteins. The single promoter expresses all of the proteins with one promoter separated by two A peptides. The separate promoters would express each of the proteins with a separate promoter. Red fluorescent protein, RFP, was added to the plasmid backbone to better be able to observe knockdown of the RNA. Both the single and separate promoter regions yielded roughly 50% targeted RNA knockdown, which supported neither being su superior. Doudna and the other scientists then sequenced non-targeted RNA and noted a decrease in the number of unintended alterations for the CSM proteins in use, which meant a decrease in toxicity to the cell. Overall, the experiment yielded data about how feasible and efficient the use of CSM and CRISPR would be. So, to summarize, Dr. Jennifer Doudna has been in the public eye for her work with genome editing in the past few years. She is an inspiration to female scientists across the globe as she continues to strive to properly represent how females can succeed. Overall, she is a phenomenal scientist and phenomenal role model to girls in STEM everywhere, including me.